uh, the 12th of July, 27th of July, first half hour starts. Okay, right, going. Going, going. So, just tuning in now while the going is good, um, so that you don't plan to sleep on Thursday. Um, we're using Mrs. Kirsten. Our ramp says, yeah, says two hours, Thursday lesson, eight to ten. Okay. Well, Last lesson, eight to lesson ten, eight o'clock to ten o'clock. Eight o'clock to ten o'clock. But hang on with that. What choice is that? No, but that we aren't in choices. Remember, we aren't in choices. We're in time. So, we're only going to do Bible in the morning and then come back in the afternoon for Bible again. Exactly. Your excitement is palpable. I'm sorry. As is mine. Is Josh not here today? No. No. That's rude. Okay, right, moving up. Is Josh here? Josh. He's where? He isn't there either. He's. That's just weird. <laughs> Can I ask you guys for a commitment last week? Okay. Email right. him down. Should I? Yeah, because you emailed William and I. Then we're late. Indeed. You did. I did. You did. Yeah. 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 You're like, no, where are you? <laughs> okay, moving on. I'm going to leave you. Okay. Right, going, going, going. Okay. Remember, for those of you people I don't normally teach, anything that's in blue is just for interest. Don't learn it. So, this is the classification of hominids. So, I swear if you write this down, I will beat you. Okay. You carry up. And you know what that means. It means having a true nucleus of membrane bound organelles, Animalia predata, Mammalia primata, hominidae, genus Homo, species sapiens. Remember, this then makes a two word scientific name. And when it is typed, remember it is typed in italics. And remember that when you write it, you underline it. Okay. Don't pick up a ruler and underline it. Life is too short. Just underline it, hand underline it. If they ask you what is the genus name, then just give this word. Write it with a capital letter and hand underline it. If you give the entire thing, Homo sapiens, you will get naught. Okay, so the genus name is Homo, the species name is sapiens, Underlined, hand underlined, and lowercase. Okay? Um, if they ask you the scientific naming, obviously you put both of them together, you hand underline it, genus name with a capital species name with a lowercase. And I must tell you, it doesn't matter how many times we tell our kids about this. Prelim exams, when we ask you, blow me down if the kids don't get this, get naught out of two for this. Okay? Please remember how to do it correctly. It's, it's money for jam. Okay. So you have to know, according to your SAGs, the current understanding of hominid evolution is based on evidence from four fields. And the first, uh, the first one is paleontology. So you have to know the difference between the four words that I'm going to give you now. Okay. So paleontology. Ology, you know, means study of. Paleontology is fossil studies. So the study of fossils. And why is this important in terms of hominid evolution? It gives an indication of evolutionary relationships and biological history. So it's a good indication of relationships in terms of evolution. Okay. And you need to go back in your head and just think about how fossils are formed. And remember that fossils can be excavated in strata, and the fossils in the lowest strata are the oldest fossils. 
so it's really important. Okay. The second field is archaeology. Now, this is the study of the origins and developments of human history and a little bit about prehistory of humans, but mostly focused on humans, and it includes human artifacts, pottery, ornaments, stone tools, cave art, etc. And this gives very good evidence about how early humans lived, and it also gives very good evidence about what they thought and what their philosophy was about. Okay, why are you guys writing this all? <laughs> you what? I don't get to know. Okay, the last life's too short. Okay. Anthropology. Study of human cultures, societies, languages, behavior, and ways of life. So if I was an anthropologist and I wanted to know about um, the people living in the Philippines, I would go to the Philippines, I would go and live in a little village in the Philippines, I would immerse myself in their culture, their behavior, their language, their ways of life. And that's how I would learn if I was an anthropologist. Okay, right, we are happy. New, new, new field, paleogenetics. The study of genomes of different ethnic groups, study of mutations, mitochondrial DNA, remember, in little, little M, little T DNA, mitochondrial DNA. Oh, am I going to just go through five hours this week with you just writing the previous sentence that I said? No, probably. Probably. No. Okay. I think I'm going home. Okay. Why chromosome DNA and ultrasonal DNA? What is ultrasonal DNA? Really steady. Go here. I knew it. It's 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 the one that doesn't do like sex. That's not it. <laughs> They're not sex. Not sex. Yes. They're not sex. Okay, firstly don't drop. <laughs> And secondly, just revise that before I just stop crying. Because you did write a test on this last week. Yes. I, I Best you get it correct. It's the one that doesn't do sex. <laughs> so chromosomes do the humpy pumpy. No, so I, just, I, I, I can see noticed. that. But the non-sex chromosomes. Good. What's the correct scientific term for the sex chromosomes? Chromosomes. Chromosomes. <laughs> okay, so the intention of this field is to learn about the history of life on Earth. We'll go back to this right at the end of this section and talk about how it um, works by bringing back to life parts of the genomes of ancient organisms. Okay, so what does the evidence show? That there was a common ancestor, which was a primate, and humans originated in the southern hemisphere okay huge controversy with the uk people long ago because they really couldn't bear the fact that humans might have evolved in africa um they were very sad about it okay the evidence also shows that all extant and remember that word means michelle not extinct. Not extinct. All living wild primates are presently found in areas originally part of a supercontinent Gondwana land. Okay, right, somebody told me about Pangaea and no, Kaylin, I can't do this. Make it right. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are like about to leave school and go and have children <laughs> and you can't even wear masks. How are you going to wear a condom? <laughs> I'm not having the bed. Ever. Maybe. <laughs> I'm the godmother of your child. Okay, come on, somebody intelligent. Gondwana land. Who's the geographer? Ruth, go. I know Good ball. Gondwana land. Go. William. Was it like in between now and Pangea? I'm guessing. That's what I said. Is it? In position, in time? 
yeah. in whatever. Like those Pangea and then Cold War and then what was that now? I'm guessing. Do you do geography? No. Good. That's <laughs> 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 the scariest thing I've ever heard. Okay, go. Somebody intelligent. Who does geography? Okay, Bongo, go. Uh, so, so he was partly correct. He's yeah, left one thing out. Uh, okay. So it was Pangea. So they took they big won. land mass. Yeah, I think they, it was Kondoya land and. Uh, Laurasia, good. Yes. And then. Okay, the don't go sideways. You're going sideways. Go upwards. Yes. Okay. In the big old part. <laughs> okay, <laughs> got on a land. Yes, and then okay. the part. Yeah, and then they broke into the, the continents. Where does India come from? Um, Good. Okay. And off of Gondwana land. Okay, and then you moved up and hit against Asia and yeah. made the fold mountains of the Himalayas. Alright, so geographical separation when the supercontinent broke up about 180 to 200 million years ago led to their development along different lines. So we're talking about the original primates. And we're talking about the primates who were on Gondwana land and then Gondwana land broke up. And in fact, different lines evolved um, depending on the environmental conditions. So there we've got it. Pangea, Laurasia, Gondwana land. Please don't learn this, guys. Okay, and then all the continents broke up, and there's South America, which originally fitted in to Africa there. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. So, don't focus on learning this. This is background information, so we're talking about primates. They appeared about 85 million years ago. They mostly are boreal, in other words, they lived in trees. And there are two main groups of primates recognized today. Pro-simians and pro meaning as in um, more primitive, less well-developed brains. And this is the lemurs, the tarsiers, and the bush babies. Okay, how do we feel about lemurs? Do you know what they are? Yeah. Okay, tarsiers. Do we know what they are? No. Bush babies, do we know what they are? What's a tarsier? What's a tarsier? Okay, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you a picture. <laughs> I will show you a picture. Okay, everybody happy with bush babies? Yeah. Okay, anthropoids, not anthropods, anthropoids, are more advanced in evolutionary terms than the pro simians, and I'll show you pictures, and they have larger brains. And they are divided into old world monkeys, new world monkeys, and hominids, and I will show you this. Now, old world, refers to the part of the world known before the discovery of the Americas. So this is the old world. And then the Americas were discovered, and that is the new world. Okay, so. Now, do you want to Sorry, I, I just wanted to interject between the old and the new world. I, I just wanted to ask if you were talking. Yeah, That's very kind of you. What did Mrs. Florenza like from? She's there. I'm with you. So I don't have enough all of these times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to come in between. Well, well, there isn't an in between. No, don't you even think of moving. <laughs> okay. So these are the pro -simians. Okay. So there's a Gallego, a bush baby, has a slender loris, has a tarsia, <laughs> and there's a Wait, no. Wait, no. Just like Gabby. No, no. Yes. Because you know that thing that says, no, that's just. It says what? It's a fictional character, it's not based it on. No, it's based on. That's not that guy. Madagascar and yeah. Okay. 
there's a Poto also, and there's a Loris. Do not obsess about this. Okay, so primates are divided into prosimians. That's all the lorises, lemurs, tarsiers, etc. And the anthropoids. And the anthropoids are divided into the new world monkeys and the old world monkeys and apes. And I'll show you those. Okay, don't obsess about that. But moving on. There's a lot of change in the use of these two terms. The first term you have to know is hominid, and the second term I would have an idea of is hominin. Okay, now if you look at this classification, family hominidae, so that is the hominids, and I'll talk about that. And then a tribe, so it's below subfamily, is hominini. Okay? Don't get obsessed about this, but it's to show you that a hominid is a higher level of classification. In other words, it's like a grade. It's like high school, high school. And then this is a lower level of classification. It's like 8A. <laughs> okay, so the high school and then 8A. Okay, so it's higher and a lower level of classification. So hominids are the group consisting of all modern and extinct great apes. So that means modern humans, chimpanzees, Gorillas, orangutans, and their immediate ancestors. And we're going to spend a lot of time talking about these ancestors. Okay. Whereas hominins, lower level, consists of modern humans, extinct human species, and we'll talk about that, and all immediate ancestors, including members of the genera Homo, genera being plural of genus. Homo, Australopithecus, Paralithicus, and Ardipithecus. And we'll talk about those. Okay, the use of these two terms has changed over time. And so older sources use the two terms interchangeably and they use them differently. So you've just got to be careful because I know you're going to rush home and go and find a million sources and go and learn stuff and whatever. <laughs> Don't. Okay. So recent genetic evidence indicates that humans and apes, especially the chimpanzees, are in fact genetically more similar to each other than are other animals which are assigned to different families. So if you look genetically at dogs and cats in different um, families, there is more um, diversity in their DNA between dogs and cats, two different families, than there is between humans and chimpanzees. So we have 98% identical DNA to chimpanzees. Okay? Which means that if we're that similar to chimpanzees, how similar are we to each other? Okay. Alright. Don't learn this. Just have a vague idea that obviously it was first prosimians and then the first monkeys and then the first apes and then the first hominids doesn't mean these evolved from those it's a timeline and it's showing you how many millions of years ago do not obsess okay remember that you have to be able to interpret any diagram that you get like this so remember that you have to be able to say, I could say to you something like, when did um, prosimians evolve? So then you go up and you take a ruler and you go across and you go 58 million years ago. Because there's the unit of measurement. And if you don't give the unit of measurement, you often get naught for that as well. Depends on whether it's for one mark or for two marks. If it's just for one mark, I'm listening.
Does it say 99 in the notes? 98. Is it 98? I can't remember, but we won't say means that you've been to the Yeah, and um, Humans and Chips 98 is what my head tells me. Just look it up on your recent website. Okay, right, so make sure that you put units of measurement, that you somewhere find. They can't give you figures without putting the unit of measurement somewhere. So find the unit of measurement and include it. Okay, so all you're doing is you're interpreting this. So if I say to you, what is the closest um, in terms of relatedness, the closest group to hominids, then you would go back down the hominids and go up the next branch and it's African apes, which includes gorillas and chimpanzees. Okay, make sure you can interpret this. Are all of these groups extinct? I mean, are any of the groups extinct? No, because their arrows all go up to the current day. That doesn't mean that there are not organisms within these groups that are extinct. So some organisms must become extinct along the way. But what it does mean is that as a group, there are extinct members of Placinians, New World monkeys, Old World monkeys, etc. Okay, right. So anthropoids are monkeys and apes and man. And monkeys are classified into New World monkeys and Old World monkeys. So remember that Old World means those parts of the earth that were known before the Americas were discovered. And Old World monkeys. And what I need you to, to think of now is think of like a baboon or a vervet monkey. And you'll see that they have a long snout, they have close nostrils, okay, and they have a non-prehensile tail. And don't, don't obsessively learn this, but remember that a prehensile tail is one that can wrap around a branch and be used almost as a hip hand. And new world monkeys don't have, I mean, old world monkeys don't have a prehensile tail. Whereas new world monkeys are very flat face, okay? Their nostrils are wide and point to the side, and their tails are prehensile. All right. You must know the difference between the apes. So one of the things that is commonly confused is people are quite often not able to tell the difference between a chimpanzee and a gorilla. So make sure that you can tell the difference between a chimpanzee and a gorilla. Chimpanzee is more closely related to humans than gorillas are. And then even more divergent off of humans is orangutans. Okay? Right. So just for orientation, don't learn. There's a cladogram with superfamily hominidae, etc, etc, just showing you the branching off there, okay. And then here, you can see that um, in terms of millions of years ago, you can see the relationship between them. Um, so there's human, and then if you look at the chimpanzee line, they're pygmy chimps and they're common chimps, okay. Right, and please note that in, according to this interpretation, gorillas did not branch off from chimps. Gorillas branched off before the lion that produced humans and chimps both times. Okay? So, and don't obsess about this. First, our boreal mammals probably resembled our friend the shrew. Okay, how big is a shrew? Yes, my angel. How big was the elephant shrew? Okay, then why are you saying that shoes are this big? Shoes are tiny, puppet. Okay. Okay. They have little long snouts. This is what they think um, our ancestors looked like. A good sense of smell was probably nocturnal, was probably very active, and had claws. But they think that it might have resembled this. <laughs> People are offended when 
you said we were evolved from apes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you're going, this is worse. Please no, I'm not saying we evolved from apes because we didn't. Okay. So when primates evolved and they became more and more advanced, these are the basic trends. Limbs became more and more mobile. So if you consider the organisms from which we evolved, if you consider our limbs versus, and I'm not saying we evolved from horses, but picture a horse, their limbs are not very mobile compared to our limbs. We can do a lot more stuff with our limbs than a horse can do. So that's what I mean when I talk about mobile limbs. But our limbs are very, very mobile. We've got grasping hands, which are amazing. So we have, and this is terribly important, an opposable thumb. And that means that if you look at the, the, the digits, they're not all parallel to each other. The fingers are, but look, our thumb is divergent, and we can oppose it, and we can grasp things. So the reason why your dog can't pick up its ball in its hand and throw it at you is your dog doesn't have an opposable thumb. And then we have flat nails on five digits, and I'm going to talk about flat nails just now. now. A flattened face, so, so, so important. Okay, we'll talk about it. Binocular vision, very important. A good old large complex brain for learning biology and learning behavior. And reduced, let me just finish this, a reduced reproductive rate, which is awesome. We'll talk about that if we've got time. And nice complex social behavior. Uh, end of first half hour. Uh, great South Coast, 227th of July, and